That's right. So CDIPSI. <clears throat> so uh, uh, this stands for the Certified Data Privacy Solutions Engineer. So each one of those words is very important, right? But really the P is the operative privacy. If you are a privacy professional or interested in becoming a privacy professional, there is a massive amount of demand for this. Uh, and especially where privacy intersects with IT, with cybersecurity, um, certainly the people that are able to deliver on that are making great salaries. Uh, within that, uh, the, the CDIPSI va uh, validates privacy technologists' ability to implement privacy by design solutions into new and existing networks, platforms, and products, building customer and stakeholder trust, and mitigating the risks of non-compliance. So every organization is now looking for how can they react to GDPR and other privacy laws. Uh, what we see here, uh, the specific content is around privacy governance, privacy architecture, and data lifecycle that we see on the right-hand side. So let's take a look at what the numbers on CDIPSI have come out to. Uh, this was launched in 2021. So that means it came out in April, very new. And I just wanna point out this second number, absolutely essential. More than 18,000 people around the world signed up during the grandfathering period. So the grandfathering period lasted for a short time in the second half of 2020 and in Q1 of 2021, and 18,000 people raised their hand to get signed up for that. Just in case you're keeping score, that's more than the total number of people that have signed up for the Sea Guides. I just want to point out that's the level of demand that Sidipsi is in right now. So let's talk about a couple of stats that have driven that demand, that have driven the high salaries here. The biggest challenges facing a successful privacy program, number one, 45% say it's a lack of clarity in a privacy mandate, rules, and responsibilities. 41% say it's a lack of executive or business support for initiatives. And 41% say it's a lack of competent resources, right? And all three of those items play very nicely into your hands as somebody considering becoming a privacy professional, we would recommend to reach out to InfoSec about this right away if this sounds like you. A uh, technical IT professional with experience implementing privacy controls around data and analysis, privacy engineering, privacy solutions architecture, lead privacy management, and IT consulting. Uh, this is a great way for you to show that you're ready for the next era of what's important in IT through the CDIPSI. Jeff, do we have any questions on this certification? Uh, yeah, I had a question just for myself. Um, obviously, this is a new certification, and so I'm curious how ISACA as an org, you know, decides, you know, when they want to expand their offerings or include a new certification, and you know, kind of what the process is around that, and maybe some of the behind-the-scenes discussions. It seems like a Obviously, it seems it's got to be a pretty big undertaking to develop a whole new certification. So, you know, why did you decide that now was the time for for this one? And and any thoughts there? Yeah, that's a great question, Jeff. And so here at Saka, I want to emphasize our position as a global nonprofit professional organization. So we rely heavily on the industry to tell us what's relevant. Right? We we look to what's uh, what are organizations willing to pay for right now? We look for what organizations uh, are paying out to uh, professionals who have different types of certifications. And then we also look to what is the need, right? Um, and as we put those things together, that's where we gather up SMEs, uh, subject matter experts, uh, where we start to have conversations around de developing this type of content. One of the great things about ISACA certifications is when it gives them so much power and relevance is that we have brought together the expertise of so many people in the industry who know what they're looking for, uh, who can help us to make this as effective as possible. ISACA is all about the mission, and the mission is making sure that organizations and individuals are able to achieve their goals within IT. Uh, and that with that strategy in mind, that clearly has led us to CDIPSI, the need for privacy certification uh, so that folks can demonstrate their capabilities here. Great. Yeah, we have another question that came in. Um, do you have a version of the SDIPC certification that is specific that is specific to certain regulations such as GDPR? 
Great question. Yeah, we get that question very frequently uh, from the EU, uh, where GDPR has had such a major impact with significant fines being levied on organizations that failed in all the things that CDIPSI enables you to do. Uh, so the design of CDIPSI is to be neutral as to the local laws, right? So we will talk about GDPR and other requirements of that type, uh, but the great benefit here is that it will familiarize you with uh, how to address each of the different laws and jurisdictions uh, in places that you might operate so that if you're working for a global organization, you need to fulfill not just GDPR, but also every other privacy law of every other country in which your business operates. Uh, and therefore, it is built to be uh, neutral from that standpoint while also covering the requirements of major ones like GDPR. Yeah, and another question that came in is, is there a five-year experience requirement for this certification as well? Yeah, great question. Yes, there is an experience requirement behind it. And just to be clear, it ranges between three and five years, depending on you may have some other types of experience or education that can qualify you so that you only need three years. Um, but uh, I, would, I would point you to the website, take a look at what those requirements look like and see if they're a match for your career. Yeah, and we also have a, a question about the grandfathering period. Can you talk more about that? Is is that now over and everyone can sign up or is, there, is that still ongoing? Or any, any thoughts there? Yeah, the grandfathering period was a time during which those folks who were highly qualified were able to submit applications and be considered to receive the certification without taking the exam. If that sounds exciting to you, I'm sorry to say it is now over. Uh, but uh, you can certainly take the training today with InfoSign. Awesome. And, and since we've been talking about experience, we have a, a couple of questions related to, you know, the three to five years experience requirement. So um, is that you have to have that experience before you can even apply to take the exam or, you know, kind of how is how is that enforced? Yeah, great question. So you do not need the experience to take the training or the exam. And so uh, it's actually quite common. Many organizations, many enterprises who take training uh, of this type, they might train a whole team with, let's just say, CIDIPC in this case. Uh, so they have 20 members of the team, but only 10 qualify as of today. That's fine. Those 10 will go on to get their CIDIPC after, after completing the exam successfully. For the remaining folks, they'll go on to complete the exam successfully, but they'll need to wait to apply until after they have met the experience requirement. 